I want to show you how to apply rounded corners to a, an object in your web page and to make it work in IE6, IE7, and IE8 because right now the CSS3 property called border radius doesn't work in IE6, 7, and 8. So if you have something on your page, and I've already done this, but if I've got something like let's say a header or a div or something that you want to put rounded corners on, and if you put the typical border radius with the, uh, the browser-specific prefixes in there and that sort of thing, you can get that to work in most cool, good browsers, I guess you can say. But if you don't want to type all this out and you just want to do rounded corners on something, I would suggest going to a site like css3maker.com. There's 50,000 of these sites. And they will actually allow you to set a border radius, a style, width, that sort of thing. And they will give you the code right here. You can just select it. It's kind of cool. Just select it and then copy it. And you can just paste it into your code if you want to. Now, the unfortunate part is it's only going to do it on all four corners rather than doing it on independent uh, corners if you want to. So whatever. Type it in. You got it. You can then go test it. And I've got it applied to this header box right here. It's a uh, HTML5 element. And you can see the rounded corners. It's really stupid, I know. You can do it on anything. But Now, if you want to get it to work in IE6, IE7, and IE8, we need to use a couple different things. Now, we can use what are called filters. There's a lot of ways to do this. You can also use something as simple as what's called CSS3Py. This is Progressive Internet Explorer. It means that you can do any one of these things, and there are actually a couple other things you can do. A border radius, a box shadow, a linear gradient. You can show the CSS. Now, you're going to go to this website first, css3py.com. If you click Show CSS, it'll even give you the styling that you need to get this to work to look like this. If you just want the corner, the rounded corner, you can turn off this other stuff. And what it does is it lets you resize it here. So let's say I want 20, something like that. Whoops. And look down here, it's going to give you the code. You just copy all that stuff and paste it. Now, for this CSS3 Pi to work, you need to download a little file, and then you need to put something into your CSS. First of all, let's put what we need in the CSS. Right down here, you're going to see this behavior thing. Copy that line right there, all the way from the word behavior to the semicolon at the end. Copy that. Go back over to your styling. And in your style, between the braces here at the very end, I'm going to hit return and paste. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to download this little file called an HTC file from the Pi website. And then we need a link to it here. So I'm going to almost guarantee that your link is probably going to look something like this, pi.htc without that slash. Now, we need to go get that little file. This is what you do for every one of the things you want, every rounded corner you want to apply, every, you know, grainy or whatever it's, it uh, actually supports. You put this in every style that you want to use it on. Back in the Pi website, you come over here and you can click download. It'll download a zipped file. Okay, then what you do is you go out, unzip it. Let me show you here. I got this folder sitting here. And it's going to give you a bunch of stuff. It's going to give you like pi.htc, .js, .whatever, whatever. This is actually not all you're going to see. This is my stuff too. You are looking for this file right here, pi.htc. They give you a JavaScript version and a couple other things if you want to go that route, but you don't have to. Copy this little file, this HTC file, and put it into your website folder. And you can put it in the same level as your page or whatever page you're on. Okay. Once you get it in the same level, then what you do is you go to your code, your header, and make sure that the link is correct from your page. So this is going to be this is going to work for me. pi.htc. That's all I do. That's it to make my rounded corners work. Then what I can do is click on preview. Now, I, you guys, I'm in Dreamweaver. I'm in Dreamweaver CS6, and I'm using what's called Browser Lab to preview this. You can have any method you want to do this. I'm not telling you to use Dreamweaver. I'm not telling you to use Browser Lab, but Kind of a quicker way to get this done. But once I get that done and get that in there, you will then see you can test in IE 6, 7, 8, and you will see the rounded corners. That is all you need to do. It's kind of cool. So let me go test in 8 just to make sure. I know I can trust it, but it should work. So that's one method for getting things like rounded corners to work. Now, you're not always going to want to do that, and some corporations don't recommend this type of thing with larger, you know, bigger, beefier websites. There are a lot of other methods, but for most of us with our simpler sites, it works pretty well. So there you go.